Well, I'm in a better mood. I appreciate that. Thank you for the suggestion, Thunderbird. <laughs> While we're all here, let's play a little bit of Sayonara Wild Hearts because I really enjoyed that first round of the game. Um, and I'm in the mood to play something fun, and it was fun. So let's play that for a little bit, and then I'm going to go back to work and making Call Me Sarah and being a CEO and whatever else. I feel like a failure today. Um, I'm just, I don't know, in, like I said, in a very weird headspace. So I appreciate that game for kind of like breaking the concrete a bit. So let's have Sayonara Wild Hearts continue getting us in a good mood. Let's see if it will let me. Will it let me capture it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Much like yours, there was a young woman who was. Will you let me? No, but that is fine because that's why we have this. No worries. We'll see you when you get back. Okay. <clears throat> so our saga begins tonight. Yet eons ago, just here, yet light years away. I'm going to change this. Update. Oh, I need to update this too, don't I? All right, everyone, what's your favorite kind of music? Throw it in chat now, because this is a rhythm game. We're gonna go with it. For those of you who don't know, in high school, I was huge into raves and DDR and electronica and stuff. So this game itches those like nice things that I haven't touched since high school in my brain. Even like the purple and blue is just like giving me some yummy yummy. I will say uh, I've been told that this might affect you if you've got sensitivity to flashy lights. Be careful because there's flashy lights. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Oh hey, look, the bottom's got our our things. Cool, so let's go from the beginning, right? Great. Long ago a harmonious universe existed beyond ours. Mm -hmm. And three divine arcana watched over it. But one night, a cursed arcana intersected the astral highways, and along with her star-crossed allies, they stole all harmony and hid it in their vile hearts. Does Paper Mario take a lot from what did that say? The say Claire de Claire de Lune is that the name of the song? started to fade. They created a heroine from the shards of a broken heart, and hoped that she would one day be strong enough to save their world. Hell yeah, she will be. Claire de Lune. Let's see. Claire de Lune, Paper Mario. Because it's giving me Paper Mario vibes. Nope. I'm the only one who thinks this. At least from a initial Google search. But that's cool.
Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey, out of sight. <clears throat> How you doing? How's your day going? What a cool costume change. Yes. Oops. I didn't realize the round started. <clears throat> it's always nice to play a game that makes you feel baller when you play it. Like that's got some skill to it, but you just feel really cool when you play it. Oh, we gotta redo that. Bronze rank is not good enough. I need some more water. Let's do this. I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. Don't keep, don't keep much. We're gonna try that again. Now that I know the, the trick to the level. Those little teleporty paths. I was that kid in high school that would go to the arcade and play DDR for hours. And then when we ran out of money, we built a PC specifically just for DDR and had like the metal pads at home. Yeah, that was my friend group. Every Friday night we'd go over to Rob's house and we would on the PC that was built specifically for DDR with two metal mats with the bar on his TV <laughs> playing DDR for hours in the dark and just be like sweaty teenagers eating stale Cheetos, which are one of my favorite snacks by the way, and sugary drinks and playing DDR. That was my friend group in high school. <sighs> on laptops so you can clean and hang out. Yay, hi. Hi out of sight. Had an absolute blast this game. I am enjoying it. I'm playing it for five minutes and my mood is done then immensely improved already you were that group my friend group was also that group kindred spirits yo one of my friends built their own ddr pads really no all of my friends were like they were those long lanky skinny but strong nerds probably because of all the freaking ddr we played and now they're all rather large <laughs> Which tells me that it's not a metabolism thing, it's that they stopped playing hours and hours of TDR. <laughs> we used to play so much. And now we all like sit and play video games and we're wondering why we're not little string poles anymore. Um, but the they were all very tall and like, even though they were string poles, they all had bigger structures. So I don't know if we would be able to build anything that would have like withstand the pound because they would like go hard. They would slam down on the pads. So I don't know if we would have been able to build something that would have lasted. Let's do this again. Plus I'm all about tower reading, all about tower reading. This game is hype. It just makes you feel cool while you play it. Which is better than Gree. Or Gris. Gris made me angry. Oops, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Bummer.
We have to remember on that one that we have to go to the left one. Better? Silver. That's cool. Silver's nifty. Also, there's some Zodiac references. Oh, I love that. Let's try for gold. We did bronze, we did silver, and now let's try for gold. That double one we have to remember to go to the left. I love Zodiac references and Constellation and Tarot cards. Like, why not believe in this stuff? What music did all of you listen to in high school? I was all about the punk stuff. I went to every Warp tour. I did under underground bands. I had my own record company that I would record my friends' bands at their shows. I was big into shoot, shoot! I messed it up. I was big into uh, electronica and DDR and K-pop and J-pop. Basically anything that would light my blood on fire, you know? Bummer! Let me go next level. Let's see if I go next level and then come back to it later. We'll be fine. Hate Hell Valley. Indie Rock Pop? Same. Love Indie Rock Pop. What were some of your favorite bands? Yeah. Oh, you know I love motorcycles! I would love to get a Kawasaki Ninja. I currently just have an HD Evo 200, but one day I will own a Kawasaki Ninja. Like a 700, maybe, you know what, even like a 250, they don't make 250s anymore. But even a Kawasaki 250, just like a little zippy thing. I like lower CC bikes and cars, like Mini Coopers and lower CC motorcycles and scooters, because you can push the pedal to the metal and not be dangerous. I feel that way about, uh, now okay good to know ah shoot hell yes girl band oh man this is so cool <laughs> punk rock ddr all we are like the same Emo was invented in Jersey, so you know I was all in that scene. I, in high school, didn't like Emo, though, because Emo was, like, a year or two younger than me, and so Screamo came out, right? So we'd have these really cool punk shows, and then Screamo started to take over, and those kids didn't know how to mosh without hurting. They would just fill their arms. They'd, like, throw chairs into the mosh pit and shit, and I would get pissed. Like, there's a certain way to mosh so you don't get hurt, and I was upset that they kept on getting hurt. Like, I went to um, the MCR stage at Warp Tour once, and there was just, like, every 30 seconds, a kid coming out, bloody nose, broken arm, because they didn't know how to mosh. And me being 16 at the time, and, uh, you know, feeling like a, a senior citizen on the scene. Marina and the Diamonds, ah! Oh, Marina and the Diamonds has one song that I am obsessed with. Feeling super, super, super. I forget what it is, but I would listen to that song on repeat. Yes! I 
I, ooh. I like how this gives you the feeling of being on a bike. How it leans like it should. Because sometimes I play motorcycle games and it does not feel like a motorcycle. This leans and turns like a motorcycle, which is nice. What? I thought I got that one. There we go. Better? Silver, maybe? Damn, we'll go back to it. No worries. I like when cars, motorcycles, scooters, etc. are low CC, as I was trying to say, but then I got like a doki doki rush. Ah! Uh, because I like putting the pedal to the metal or revving up all the way and not be going like 120 miles an hour. <laughs> so I can like zip in and out and it's fine. And I have enough uh, speed to avoid a car if like they don't see me in the emergent smiling, which happens all the time, especially in Texas. Hello, spider friend. You stay there and we'll be fine. See, this is something that Texas has improved on me. There is a clip on this channel of me in my apartment in New York like 10 years ago <laughs> when I was in my early 20s and the spiders on my wall and I scream bloody murder in fear but thanks to Texas you can't do that because bugs are everywhere so like it's like you do you I do me don't touch me we're fine her new album's good I haven't heard her new album yet I'll check it out who came up with a new album uh like last week and it is not like their old stuff and it's kind of confusing to listen to it sounds like an experimental underground indie indie like alternative rock band horizon bring me to the horizon bring me to the horizon new album and it sounds nothing like them which isn't a complaint more an observation I was, um, so my bike, it's not a sports bike, right? It's a cruiser. And I was, uh, giving David Eddings a ride. <laughs> and I told him beforehand, like, he's like, do I lean into the turns? I'm like, no, it will tip. <laughs> Don't lean into the turns at all. Um, and he like, I, I, you know, he wanted the speed. So I went to top speed. So my bike does zip around. And I brought him around the block just for shiz and giggles. And then we were getting off and he uh, was so enthusiastically getting off that he like swung himself off and the bike fell. He felt so bad, which my bike tips all the time because I'm not strong enough to hold it, you know? Silver brain. I'll take silver. Let's continue. He felt so bad. <laughs> and he was like, are you okay? Did I break your bike? Like, it's fine. I dropped my bike once every four months and it was like we were stopped he was just getting off you know it's not like we crashed or anything but it was very sweet of him There's a lot going on right now. I got silver? Oh, I thought I failed that miserably. So what's everyone up to today? Begin 
I don't think so. I like it better than cars. I like it because you're smaller. So like, I don't know. You're more exposed, sure. But on a good day when it's not too hot, not too cold, and there's not much traffic, and cars aren't being douchebags. What? What do I do? Oh, do I dodge it? Oh, okay. I wish these pretty ladies weren't trying to hurt me. Just want to be friends. Why can't we just be friends? Pretty motorbike lady, I want more friends like you. Can't we just be friends? Oh, I can move up and down. Okay. trying to hurt me. I just want to be your friend. So that's the shit my bike could never do. I wish I was this cool. Talk about like a fantasy. Oh no. I want to be like these people. I want to be her. She's so stylish and cool. <laughs> Rides her bike a lot better than I do. <laughs> hey, Dream!
around. Hope you have fun. Nice meeting you. Please come back soon. See you later. Out of sight. Ha! Out of sight. Snow going. Out of sight. <laughs> See ya. You love this game, Dream? That's awesome. Oh man. The moon. This definitely feels like a woman made this game. Can someone <laughs> clarify that? Or not clarify, um, confirm that? That this was definitely a majority woman dev team? Cause it definitely feels like it. There's a lot of feminine energy. Like for example, did you notice when she was riding her motorcycle, her butt wasn't like tooched? That was refreshing. Welcome to the Toad House. How you doing? How pretty. Let's continue. What's your favorite type of music, Flippa? Whoa, whoa, woods. Whoa, whoa, woods. <laughs> Patronus. We chasing the Patronus? Why are we chasing the Patronus? Do I get points for the Risky? Or do I get minus points for the Risky? I can't tell. It goes by too quick. Simon Foster, Magnus, Carl. Nice. Bronze rank. Bajorn, Issa, Daniel, and more. Yes, your favorite type of music, Flippa. You've been following on Twitter for so long. Can't believe this is the first time you catch a stream. Welcome! <laughs> I'm so happy you caught a stream. We normally stream Mondays and Wednesdays at 12 noon central time, but uh, felt like streaming today. I was in a foul mood. Not anymore. I'm in a pretty great mood now. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to be friends with everyone who made this game. Mostly because they see women as people. <laughs> Mushrooms! It's officially a cozy game! <laughs> it's officially a cozy game! Because as we know, all comfy cozy games have toadstools. Welcome to the toad house. Of course it's the part of the level that I can't get. Hell yes. Sup? Let's be friends. What black mirror shiz is this? <laughs> this game is. It's kind of tough. 
kind of changes on your mood, of course, of course. Currently listening to a lot of drum and bass, though. Best music to work out to. The mushrooms did make us bigger, as is video game lore. Everyone knows that if there's a mushroom and you eat it in a video game, it makes you bigger. Like, that's just... If you go to a waterfall, there's always a treasure chest behind the waterfall. You eat a mushroom, you will get larger. That's just how it works. <laughs> this is a trip with the amount of caffeine that's currently in my body playing this game. I feel like nauseous, but in a good way. We're shooting hearts now. We're playing asteroids with our bike. This is so sick. We have to create a path for ourselves. Shit. I thought it was a ramp. My bad. on the switch I don't know no rank what I failed that's unacceptable oh we were 900 short of bronze let's try that again I'm not sure if it's on the switch I'm currently playing it on a PC even silver rank. Bronze, Bronze, I'll take it. That is fine. Yes. Much better than no rank. Oh, we were so close to silver. That is fine. Let's continue on. This is exactly the type of game I need right now. Get me out of my, my funk. Out of my move. It seems like the risky stuff gets me more points. No, it just is so risky. Do I get points for that? I can't tell. Hazing that like I'll be part of their girl gang soon because I really just want to be part of their girl gang. Can we please just be friends? You're so cool. Oh, come on. What is that animal called again? A Sybaris or something? Three headed. Oh, come on. Come on. Do I just dodge him? I want the points. 
Okay. Here, here, center. Center, here. Cerberus. Okay. You like to skip this bit? No, thank you. I mean, I appreciate it. That's really cool. So you don't get frustrated. But I'm just trying to get the highest score. I think driving on Texas, Texas, Texas roads with everyone driving a Ford F-150 and me on my little bike prepared me for this game. I feel like I've been training for the past four years for this game. <laughs> so if you ever want to train on how to drive a motorcycle in Texas, uh, this game, it feels very much like this. <laughs> Big Ford F-150 is not wanting to share the road and insisting- oh shoot. Also, roads that make no sense because nothing is like the same. So if, for example in Jersey, right, you get off the highway, you need- it's annoying if you need to turn around if you miss your exit, right? You need to um, go down an exit and then make like a, a U-turn loopy thing. And it's annoying, yes, but at least it's consistent. It's always the same. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. It's always the same loopy. In Texas, sometimes the loopy is a U-turn. Sometimes the loopy is uh, not even like a loopy a road that you can go on. Sometimes it's a side road. Sometimes it's a frontage road. Sometimes it goes onto a major highway. Sometimes it doesn't. Like it's not consistent at all. Sometimes there's a U-turn only lane. Sometimes the left lane is a U-turn lane. Sometimes it's like, it's just very inconsistent. So between that and all the 16, 18 wheelers, because they're allowed on just roads that other cars are allowed on, and the Ford F-150s, this, ugh, I just want all the points. No, I'm just trying to get them all. It feels very, very similar. <laughs> Although I never died as often on Texas throws as I am in this game. <laughs> okay, let's focus. No, come on. Can you not get all of them? No, thank you. Texas, this isn't even bronze rank. Yeah. I had a cross motorbike. It was amazing to see how annoyed people in cars would be with me. I was only allowed to drive 50, so often they would just speed past me only to later stand next to me, right? <laughs> people who drive cars are funny. Anytime someone speeds by me, the thing about a motorcycle, 
Um, it makes you very aware of the road. It makes you a better car driver. And it gives you patience because it's like, you're not going to win, you know? If I decide to hold my ground against a Ford F-150, I'm not going to win. They have a tank and I have my flesh. I'm not going to win that battle. So you get very like, no, nah, you go ahead. Obviously, you really need to pee or something. You must be late for a doctor appointment that's life or death or something that you're driving so recklessly. So I'm just going to let you do you. You go past me and I will be here safe and sound. It just makes you a more chill driver. It makes you more aware of your blind spots. It makes you more aware of the rules of the road. The tower. The tower is one of my favorite tarot cards. My bike goes up to 90, but I rarely make it go up to 90. I usually like, I try not to speed. Usually, I'm happy going 45, 50, even on the major roads. Um, Terrifying. Able to go a little bit faster than was allowed. Yeah, but like, you don't want it, you know? Because it's like... I'm good. You know, I'm enjoying the weather. I'm enjoying riding my bike. I'll get there safely. I don't have a car. John has a car, but I don't. I only have my bike. So it's annoying when it's really cold and windy and rainy. But I live in Texas, so those days are few and far between. Twilight cry sky. This is pretty. Notice how this game is pretty without being pretentious. Love that. Wish more indie games did that. Your bike is cool. Bronze rank. She wants a sword fight and she gives me a sword. Yes. I have to get this game now. I'm going to check it if it's on Switch. I hope it is so you can play it. This is sick. And it feels yummy to play. It's fun. Another thing, maybe, I should stop being so salty as an indie game dev myself, but like, seriously. <laughs> Sometimes I play a game and I get so angry. Everyone drink some water. Waterbot says so. I need to have lunch soon, too. Hey, I'm just gonna dance all cool. Oh, cool.
Hell yeah! Just finished Shovel Knight, so I need next awesome indie game. I recommend this. The Tourist. I haven't heard about that one. I do wish I didn't drink so much coffee. I regret it. I wish I put it back. I need food in my stomach. Hey, friend! I'll take it. Sweet. Oh shoot, it's break time. Curses. Ah. I didn't notice I was having so much fun. Okay, we'll take a break in a minute. Can I pause? I can pause. All right, Toads, it's break time. So for those of you who are new, every hour we take a five minute break because it is not good to sit on your bum for more than an hour without a break. I'm going to play the demo during break. Good, just make sure to get up and stretch your toes. You know, stretch the ceiling, touch your toes, that type of thing. Twist in your chair, get some water, use the bathroom, stand up, even if it's just a minute. Stretch, do some jumping jacks and sit back down. The five minutes is yours to do whatever you like with it, but, Make sure you do something with it. Let me pop on some music for your enjoyment. Boom. There's an indie game developer here on Twitch called Jessica Make, who is also making a very interesting music-based game. Really? I want to check them out. Thank you so much for letting me know about that. Okay, I will see you in five minutes. Remember, you can join the basketball Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Oh, I think Dream likes them too. Um, yeah, of course you can. I'd be honored, Dream. Hi! How's everyone? Sometimes my hair interferes with my headset. I apologize. I made myself a sandwich. If you haven't eaten anything nourishing yet, please take this opportunity to do so. <sighs> Congrats on the MVP win, Flippo. 
Is there a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game coming out? I think Jim's playing an old one, isn't there? I don't know. I didn't watch the Pokedirect, so I'm not quite sure if they announced one. But I think Dream did, and probably Alyssa knows too, <laughs> if Alyssa is in chat. See you at the store now. Rescue team. Woo! So there is a new one? So, cosplay finally came. It's supposed to be a jacket. It's supposed to be a large jacket, but as you can see, it is way larger than a large jacket. It's a 4XL. They sent me, after all that, three months of waiting and all of the customs and having to yell at them, they sent me something that is 4XL. And not just large. So, I'm going to have to, before next week at PAX, undo all the seams, cut it up, and redo it. It's going to be rather annoying. It's something I haven't done in quite some time. So hopefully it turns out okay, because if it was my cosplay, it'd be fine. But it's not. It's John's, and it's his first one. So it needs to, like, it would if it fit. But alas. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it up and resize it, make it fit him. It's his first cosplay, so the fact him feeling comfortable and confident in it is important, which is why I went with the casual thing. And uh, it's unfortunate that this company is kind of giving me a headache, but no bother. I will just fix it. You know, what else can you do? I'd rather it be too large than too small, because at least now I have the fabric, you know? And hopefully I get my money back, because this whole thing has been a headache. Never use AnimeWise.com. Not worth it. Is anyone planning on going to any conventions this year? And if you are, are you cosplaying? Have you anyone cosplayed in the past? Are you interested? I'd love to know where you're at. Dream, I'm honored. <laughs> I agree. There was a couple of voices I did Pokemon for. Um, <laughs> such that. There were a couple of Pokemon I did voices for. Uh, they ended up going elsewhere. I'm not quite sure if my voices ever even made it into the anime. But they had me do... Uh, my favorite one was... Score Bunny. Doing the voice for that was a lot of fun. And uh, there was a snake one, like a snake sand shoe type character. I'm terrible at remembering names of them. Mm. Uh, Citrus, Citrus Bell did that. It's like her favorite character of all time. She did a really good version of it. Citrus Bell is good people. GamesCon. You were there last year with your internship company. You're not going to cosplay. You're just going to enjoy it? That's awesome. Where is GamesCon? I'm not familiar with that one off the top of my head. Okay. 
I have half a sandwich left. If you haven't eaten something nourishing, make sure to do so. You are human. You need food in your body, whether you like to admit it or not. I had a feeling it was a European one. It rang a bell. I think Ben, another one of the toads, is going to that one, if I remember correctly. Last year was amazing. You're really happy you could go to the business area. It was the only area that's not super crowded. I feel that. Anytime I've got um, panel tickets or VIP tickets or guest tickets, I have a better experience. <laughs> the crowds are too much for me. I hate being on the main floor, being lost in the crowd or anything. I also like having a purpose. Like Even at parties, I always volunteer to be bartender. I volunteer to do something. Coat check, even. So at conventions, I feel the same way. I like having a purpose. I like being a panelist or a guest or having a booth to run or something like that. It just makes me feel grounded. When I just go to conventions as a person and I just walk around, I don't enjoy it nearly as much. <laughs> also, I had to help at our stand. So when I go this year, I hope to be able to meet more people and do a bit of networking too. That'd be great. I hope you do. I didn't sign up for too many conventions for Artist Alley yet this year because who the heck knows where I'll be this year. Yeah, it's better to be close. But Artist Alley is a completely different beast. Like even more than doing panels or running a booth. Artist Alley, I've only done it two or three times. You are wrecked after one day. And it's these conventions are three days long. Artist Alley is just like, goodness. And I wasn't even selling my art. I was just selling cosplay. My god. It was a lot. I usually do it solo. Dude, at least I had a partner that we could trade it off and on so we can like take a break and walk around and chill. It is a lot. It is an emotional toll. It's like retail on steroids. <laughs> And that is lunch eaten. Yeah, yes. Sometimes my friend, uh, where, where was I? Ah, here. I'm actually thinking about giving a student talk about networking at my university. I think it's one of the main things that my study should teach more about. Yes, I give talks on networking for introverts. Um, I did it for Gamkido. I've done it for two conventions now. 
as well as some private groups. Yeah, I think that people need to learn how to network better. Um, it can be tricky and a lot of people don't do it correctly. So if you have insight, I think people would really appreciate that. And I think it's a good idea. Definitely do a talk on it. Sometimes my friend Mecca Momo would do it with me so we'd have help. Her husband was a good helper. She would either have her own booth and split mine or we'd both use them as bathroom break. Bathroom break helpers are like necessary. And even just like, just like chill by yourself and not talk to people for 10 minute breaks. I mean, even Starbucks every two hours gives you a 10 minute, no one talk to that person, go sit in the back and cry break. <laughs> You just need some time to just like, no one speak to me. <laughs> hey, Nyx. Welcome in. A booth babe helper. I can be your booth babe helper. I'll show up in my kimono. Just be like, hey, I'm cozy. What you want to make of it? <laughs> That's great. Yeah, totally. Definitely do it, Flippo. I highly recommend it. If you have any sort of skill or insight, you wouldn't be surprised. You would be surprised how often we take for granted our own skill set and then when we share them, people are like, that's so insightful, I never thought about that. Yeah, totally. I will totally come on by me, Cozy. I should probably offer that as a service, right? I'll just walk around in like my normal getup of pajamas and a kimono around Artist Alley with like a sign on my back saying like bathroom break relief or well, that, that makes me sound like I'm a fire hydrant for dogs. More like <laughs> uh, artist rescue team or something like that. Uh, where I'll just sit at your booth for five, ten minutes. I mean, that's a lot of trust they're putting in me, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything like bad. You know, I would do all good things. But I sit at your booth for five, ten minutes, and you get to go take a break. And I'll hype up whatever you're selling, and I'll make sure that it's not unmanned, no one steals your shit, that everyone's respectful, maybe even make a sale or two for you. Beer. Stress relief. <laughs> I have so many pills I need to take. Give me one second. Cool. Yay! Okay, we ate. We have pills. Now back to gaming. Doing well, how are you? We're talking about uh, conventions and what we're planning on for this year. So a couple of people are thinking of getting booths for uh, Artist Alley, including T-Bird. That's a great idea. I'd do that, right? If I do have a booth buddy, I help the single artist. Thank you, Jeffrey. Definitely go check out Thunderbird Paints. Her streams are mostly art related and they're loads of fun. And she's got a great community. Toads and burbs get quite along. Got like Skittles. <laughs> San Japan, ooh, I heard good things about San Japan. I've never wowed myself. Okay. Done. I usually do ones from the Northeast USA. The, um, I used to do those too. That was like my main circuit when I did it. Let's switch back to the game. Where's the music? Pause this and back to, please ignore the most recent stream that was heckin' bad. I drew with my off hand and it was all memes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay, everyone settled in and have snacks and lunch and fill up your water bottle and touch your toes and do jumping jacks. Uh, so vitamin C, the stuff that comes in citrus roots, like orange juice, um, is water soluble. So that means if you have too much, you'll just pee it out. So you can't like OD on it, which is good. Um, well, easily. I, I assume you can OD on anything, but, you know. But another thing that's good for vit vitamin C is it helps absorb other minerals and vitamins, such as iron. 
So if you take iron supplements, if you're anemic or if you're a woman of menstruating age, because we need more iron than men, because we bleed, um, or any sort of iron deficiency type thing, if you take it with orange juice or the vitamin C, you absorb it 300, on average, 300 times more than if you take it alone. And the opposite, if you have it with coffee or with tea, I don't know if it's the caffeine or if it's the tannins in it, I'm not quite sure, but coffee or caffeine, if you take iron with it, you don't absorb up to 90% of it. So you're only getting like 10% of that iron supplement. So if you take supplements, just as a sidebar PSA, uh, make sure that you're taking it with something that doesn't hinder and maybe even helps. So if you take iron, like you, I have to, I hope you cannot OD, you eat so many major, <laughs> no, you can definitely not do it just from eating oranges. Your stomach would get sick before you OD'd. This is more people who take high potency vitamins or vitamins. Um, careful taking, yes, that's another thing. So a lot of antidepressants and a lot of mood stabilizers um, have adverse effects with an enzyme or amino acid or something found in grapefruit juice so grapefruit is another thing like these there's these weird things that if someone doesn't tell you like i was drinking tea and coffee with every single meal and i'm iron deficient my whole family is and that was giving me terrible migraines it wasn't until i realized that i have to like wait a bit then take an iron supplement with vitamin c like i wish people get told us more stuff so that's another thing yes be careful of grapefruit juice if you're not quite sure if your medication responds to it i could show you a medication bottle but i won't <laughs> it's a bit too much information um the ones that do interact usually say like do not take with grapefruit and listen to that it's a lot of antidepressants Back into the game. And mood stabilizers. Oh, I'm not doing well this round at all. Okay. Wait, oh, oh, it's Pac-Man rules. Okay, I get it now, I get it, I get it. Oh, screen. My bad, my bad, thank you. Sorry, everyone. Here you go. Thank you, Jeffrey and Nyx, for uh, letting me know that I forgot to switch the screen. You missed absolutely nothing except for me getting hit by rocks. So, you know, I did it on purpose. That way you didn't see me die so often. <laughs> Damn. I'm not doing well this round. Totally did it on purpose because I was bronze. really... Oh, bronze! So I was doing better than the last time where I thought I was doing great. I love escape too. I'm quite happy. General call to action, make sure if you're not followed yet to hit that follow button. It's a little heart, give me a heart. That way you get notified the next time we play a cozy game. Yes. I think everyone already is, but it doesn't hurt to make sure. Ooh, this car drives like a motorcycle though. I don't like car levels nearly as much as I like uh, motorcycle levels. So I've been in Texas less than five years, but more than three, somewhere around there. I'm not quite sure. And I'm still, I've gotten somewhat used to it, but especially going down the major highways with the rocks on either side and flatland forever. 
I'm still in awe sometimes of this landscape. I'm just like the flat, the flat for forever and the long, 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 huge highways and interstates just for ages and like wily coyote type rocks on either side everywhere. And still after like four years in awe of it. It's wild to me. Silver Brain. Hey friend! I love how this game is so creative with the main gameplay mechanic. I agree! It changes just enough, but it still plays similarly, so you don't have to learn new things. But it's still different and interesting. I want to be friends with all of the people in this game. Look at our converse. Hey friend. Hell yeah, play me like a video game. Oh yes. I'm down for a slow level. It's kind of hard to get control, but I think it's just that I'm not used to it. Oops. Would you like to skip this bit? No, thank you. I just haven't figured it out yet. This is quite a lot that I pretty much immediately bought the game after watching you play it, right? That's why I like to play indie games. Give them a bit of love and then maybe other people will play them. Like everyone knows how a AAA game is. Indie games are great because anyone can make them. So you get all sorts of different point of views and ideas. They can also be really frustrating because anyone can make them. And just like anyone can make art or a film, right? Sometimes you watch it and you're like, I get what you're going for, but... Ugh. Also, sometimes things just aren't for you. And I find a lot of indie games, they're just not for me. This one is, though. I'm still upset about that game yesterday. They put me in such a bad mood. I don't know why it, like triggered me so badly, but I just destroyed my mood. Oh, come on. That barely topped my head. Oh, this is difficult. Okay. That game yesterday might have not been your speed, but today you found two new games. That's true. That Death Trips game is... I mean, it's in the title, so I don't know why I was so shocked. It's not like they... They definitely can't get in trouble for false advertising. <laughs> speed of this music so like it worked for all the other ones on these ones you go for one where there is no heart and by the time you get to it it's good no heart no heart I guess I was just a bit sloppy with it. No rain. Yeah, that's fine. I kind of sucked that round. I also didn't like that level. I thought I was happy to get a slow level. But, uh... 
Wasn't a fan. Do you think the squares are bad? I feel like that they are. Beautiful song. What a pretty song. I don't want it to stop. Okay, sure. I'm going to tell a good friend of mine about this game. He's thinking about becoming a game composer. This game is perfect to show how much music can add to a game. This, mu this game is its music. I've never wanted to not fail at a level so hard in this game so far as that song. I didn't want to interrupt the song. Also, Untitled Goose Game is a great thing to show him if he's not familiar. Because the music is basically a play on... Debussy's, like, uh, classics, 
but it really only happens when you're trolley. And Breath of the Wild versus Original Zelda is great to think of because Original Zelda has those constant themes, but Breath of the Wild is kind of like Untitled Goose Game where it's just to emphasize certain moments. There's a lot of silence and that speaks wonders. Um, Undertale is great because its music is its high point, you know? Uh, what else? Game one? What? Oh, there's a... And Portal 2 with how they complement. Yeah! Exactly. Music really... Especially when you don't notice it. Oh shoot. Music can add a lot. take it silver rank i found the podcast that interviews a bunch of game composers that really made me respect vgm so much more than i already did before Ooh, would you mind posting the link to that interview on the discord under game dev chat because i would love to see it love dead city Thanks, Jeffrey. Easy link that. I'm sure I'm not the only one who would appreciate that. We have a couple of game composers in our Discord that I'm sure would appreciate the representation. <laughs> I swear I'm hitting them. Hey, friend. I love the badass ballet motorcycle gang. I think the podcast is highly... Oops, electricity. Sorry. I'm reading chat while avoiding electricity. I should probably just avoid electricity. It's going so fast! Oh my word. Would you like to skip this bit? Wow, what a fast level! Uh even though the quality is top not top notch, the podcast is highly underrated. I can't wait to hear it. No, I'd like to do it. Oh, I need to pay attention. Okay. of the uh 
You know the Sonic games that came after Sonic Adventure, but before Sonic Mania? Where they, like, tried to make 3D Sonic, but they kind of just did everything for you? And I guess it looked cool, but it didn't feel like a Sonic game. That's what that level reminded me of. <laughs> the Sonic games that don't feel like Sonic games. Hate skulls. Uh, game dev. Game dev chat. If you're just joining the Discord now, you have to unlock the Discord. Uh, if you read the the rules that pop up, it will tell you how. And then uh, it should unlock everything for you. And I think people would appreciate it. Thank you. There's a lot going on in this level. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers. I'm so sorry, my bot. Will you please? Will a mod please kick the bot? I guess we've made it if there's bots in our chat, but we are full of real toads, so. Thanks, Jeffrey. Electricity. Okay. Woo! Oh, there's heart. There's so much going on in this game that, like, you really have to pay attention. It feels a little bit like an Overwatch. Oh, goodness, her too? It feels a little bit like an Overwatch when, uh,. Everyone's ulting at the same time, and there's like someone's healing you and giving you power, and you've got a bubble and this and that, and it's there's just so many flashy lights on the screen that I can't I can't like keep track of where I'm supposed to be going. It's very disorienting. <laughs> I'd say if I have one complaint about that game, it's it's that it's that there's just so much going on at the screen that I can't like. You're bored. Well, that's nice for you, because my mind is very wrong right now. Oh, okay. Shit. Oh my goodness. The last few matches have definitely had a Sonic vibe to them. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a Sonic game. Nothing wrong with that. Sonic's great and beloved by many. This is just very uh, overwhelming. We're good, we got this. There we go. God. What do I do? What do I even do? Okay. No, I will do it. Just having a peek over. Hey, Jason. Had a kick too from Stab Stream and Crab got too. And listen, really? Huh. I wonder uh, if there was like a new bot made that's making everyone mad money or something. What's a little 
corner of electricity. Ugh. Okay, it like stops. Okay. What? I don't know if I want to be this one's friend. I was down with being the other one's friends, but she just seems like she wants to hurt me. Bye. Okay. Uh. Are we riding on her nosebleed? I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I had to t t twist. I was too busy, distracted that I'm riding on someone's nosebleed. my brain to even comprehend what's going on. <laughs> puke? I was riding on puke? Yeah, this is definitely not a game to play before bed. This is not a, uh... Yes. Alright, so my friends, we are on the last level, and it's break time. So let's take a five minute break, and then let's kick this game's butt, shall we? Oh my goodness. Ugh. Last level, after break, let's head this. I'll put the music on. Remember, you can join the basketball game whenever. Stand up, stretch, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna switch the music from Toads. Congratulations to Flippo, even though, you know, I squared that last little thing there that no one saw. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Enjoy the stream. Don't forget to follow and turn on notifications to know when I go live. Thanks, Streamlabs bot. Okay. Music was nice and chill. I like this music a lot better. How was everyone's break? I hope that you got up and you stretched. I didn't realize how much tension that last level gave me. <laughs> That's how I just like zoned out for the last five minutes. I feel a lot better. What do we need? We need some stars. We need this music to sh Thank you. And... We need to swap this to this and finish this game, shall we? Thank you so much, Switch. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for following. Welcome to the Toad House. Happy to have you here. All right, we ready? Last level. Oh boy, am I happy that I took a break before this. <laughs> I was way too tense to handle this before. I feel much better. I think I can do this. Let's do this. Let's gold star this. As I said that, I was so certain I banged that card, but we good, we good.
working so well for so long! Would you like to skip this game? <sighs> hey Alyssa! Welcome! We're on the final stage of this awesome game. Oh man. Okay. I was doing so well. I can do this. Ready? No thank you. No, I got this. I got this. I got nailed on a bunch on the stage too, really. Okay. We got this. Nobody breathe! We got this! Shit! Sorry, shit curse. Gold level, gold level, gold level. Come on, give me gold level. We fight ourselves. Delightful.
Am I happy that we took that break before <laughs> I attempted this? <laughs> I was so wound up that if I, t if I did this before taking a break, I think I would have died. I don't mean in game, I mean... I wouldn't be able to handle this. There be dragons. Then the voices of the three divine arcana echo from the beyond. And through the wind, their words soar. First time flying a dragon, it's a little unwieldy. Oh, come on, we were like 3,000 away from silver. In a town much like you, <sighs> there was a young woman who fell out of love, asleep, away. For years, she fell through spirals of sadness and anger until she could not fall any deeper and fell right back into her grave. Hells yes. That is a satisfying indie game. It's super fun to play Badger. You should try it. Thanks for the heart switch. I may not buy Mystery Dungeon right away because I want Animal Crossing. Totally. Animal Crossing is coming out in like two months. You can wait. Yes, it's made by a Swedish studio. Probably why the music's so lit, to be honest. <laughs> Hell yes. What an amazing game. Annapurna. Who else did Annapurna? We've played a couple of cozy games on this channel that Annapurna had a hand in. I listen to the soundtrack daily since Tissid played it. It's a good soundtrack. I'm going to Sweden for my master's if all goes well. Good luck! I hope you do and I hope it goes well. Man, I haven't played an indie game in a while. Indie games are so wholesome. Some of them are. This one was. This one I highly recommend. Totally. My friends and I want to play Minecraft together, but then once Animal Crossing comes out, our attention will go there. <laughs> yeah, John's not going to be able to talk to me for a while. That was Queen Latifah! I had a feeling that was Queen Latifah! <laughs> I'm listening to her. I'm listening to her like, that sounds like Queen Latifah. That's cool. Let's pop!
Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Great freaking game. Yes. This was great. This was amazing. Ah, Journey it is that's probably where I got it. What a great freaking game. Album arcade. Let's try it. Long ago, a harmonious universe existed beyond ours. Oh, wait. The three divine arcana watched over. Do they want us to play the whole thing all at once? I'm kind of nervous. But one night, a cursed arcana intersected the astral highways, mm -hmm. and along with her star crossed allies, they stole all harmony and hid it. In I don't know how much I'll be able to. This is a, the album arcade, is the whole game all over at once and accumulating a score. Before the divine tree wow. to fade, they created a heroin from the shards of a broken heart. Uh, that's a little intense. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Hey there. What a great way to show someone going through a breakup and then getting back into themselves. Granted, the day I got this, I played it twice anyway. You love it that much? It's a great game. I don't blame you. Yes. All right, let's see how far I can get. This feels so nice and simple after beating that last level. <laughs> oh, how lovely and simple. next level is kind of difficult. The levels that are heart-shaped I find most difficult. I can't wrap my head around the uh... the 3D-ness of it. Which is honestly why I stick to 2D pixel art and then 3Ds. Because when I was working in Maya with 3D art and such, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Like, three-fourths of it would look great and then you'd turn it around and there would be these like cursed vector points just sticking out of everywhere as if the character that I built had knives in its back or something any game that can get your eyes wet deserves your attention I feel that I feel that what an empowering beautiful way to depict a breakup and getting through a breakup heartbreak subspace Especially with the tarot cards meaning what they mean. Like, love it. I'm concentrating so hardcore. <laughs> ah! I already messed up. It's fine. Stop! I knew to go the other one and I didn't. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. And just yesterday I was questioning whether or not I even like video games. <sighs> Sometimes you just get in your own head. Cursed vectors. Yes, they were. They're very cursed. They're just like mm. 
The beginning is so quiet and it gets more intense until the end. Then it's just peace. Yes. Cursed specters go out. Cursed layers. I agree. But your cursed layers are cute and funny. My cursed vectors were just like, it would look like a picnic table and then you'd turn it around to the side and it would look like, you know those ice crystalline, uh, like if you leave something out and it starts to grow like crystals on it from in science class. Or like if you mix mercury and I think it's aluminum. Like look up what it's what it looks like to mix mercury and aluminum, and you'll see what my 3D projects in Maya look like. They're just I was never destined to be a 3D artist. Let's just put it that way. Look at how much better I'm doing this time around. I'm rather impressed with myself. <laughs> Look at me go, everyone! Aren't I good at this game? <laughs> no! <laughs> Hubris. The universe goes, stop it. <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad you didn't manage to raid T-Birds earlier yesterday. You cursed yourself. I did curse myself there. <laughs> I flew too close to the sun. <laughs> Yesterday's whole image was cursed. Oh, you were doing your left-handed drawings, right? That's really funny. Oh, man. This is why we stay humble. So that you don't have to eat crow later. <laughs> hey, sexy girls. Can I be one of your gang now? I'm trying so hard to be one of you. You're so cool. Hey! I love the ballet fights. How's everyone's afternoon going? What you up to? Hey friend! Be my friend please. Ah yes, one of the best songs.
I moved in the way of it. That's okay. So far, so good. What? Boom. bathrooms, the kitchen, and the living room. You're going to feel so much better once your uh, flat's completely cleaned. I always feel good when my house is cleaned. Oh no. No! better than last time. Boom. See ya, Flippa! Thanks for hanging out! I think I'm gonna play a bit of the Taurus and go to bed. Sweet dreams! Almost done, just be the biggest sigh of relief. Ah, uh, it's gonna feel so good once it's all done. Although I have to say, sometimes my house is clean. And then I like need to do something and I don't want to and cleaning is usually like a it feels productive excuse right and there's literally nothing for me to clean so it's like well I guess I have to do the thing I don't want to do <laughs> I have no other excuse and nothing else productive to do that I could possibly excuse this behavior with I just want to get done before I start my job on Monday. Definitely. Once you start a new job, you want everything to be very, uh, what's the word? Simple, easy, non-fussy. That way you know where your clothes are, you know where your stuff is, you can get ready in the morning. No complications. I think that's smart. How's everyone's new year going? Any new plans or anything? I know t -Birds has a new job. Does anyone else have anything new coming up? That word job came out weird. Jab! I don't know why it came out of my mouth that way. T-Bird's got a new job. Anyone else doing anything new? Big changes for the new year? Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
I don't understand that level. I didn't understand it the first time we played it, and I didn't understand it then. I don't think I did very well. I can't get the beat of that. I don't know if they want me to hit it before we land, or if the beat is the jump, or I don't get it. Cool, 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 cool. Hi, friends. Don't even hang out with me. Oh yeah, this trippy level. The thing with this level, it's hard to see how far away everything is because of the in and out, at least for me. So it's hard for me to properly aim because nothing seems as far away as it actually is. Shall we? Everyone drink some water. <sighs> Gatling guns. I didn't notice the Gatling guns last time. I did that last time too. I like how the uh, sound indicator for getting ready for an action command is a breath in. I really dig that. Is that even a good score? I don't even know anymore. I feel like I'm doing poorly. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get to the end of all of this just to have Queen Latifah tell me, like, no rank. You suck. Why'd you even try? <laughs> now that I know it's Queen Latifah, see Queen Latifah telling me, no rank. You suck. Center, one on the side. Come on. <sighs> one in the center. Ignore the sides. Okay. Yes. Yes. Look at me! 
Okay. So far, so good. Did it. That was the hardest level last time, other than the last level, remember? Cool. <sighs> Heartbreak subspace. Okay. <sighs> what, we're like halfway through now? Where are we at? It's not as overwhelming as I thought it would be doing it all at once. Second time playing through, it does feel a lot smoother and it feels a lot easier and therefore it feels a lot more like fluid and fun. So it's a different feel on the replay. Like the first time you play, it's kind of, you don't know what's going to happen, right? So it's, it's stressful, but in a good way. Oops. Uh... But the second time you play, you kind of like, okay, this is this level, this is that level. So it almost feels like, like magic, if you will. All right, sword fight. busy focusing on the hearts.
cool concept for a level. Oh, I thought I got over enough. It's harder to, if you're like really concentrating on hearts. Last time I played, I was legit just concentrating on the fans. But now I have to like... like DDR or any other than game that if you play it enough times you know where like the big ticket items are like those big diamond coins that I keep missing and you're aware of like where to go and what to do I wish I had an idea right now of where my scores at though doing okay. I wish I knew what that if that score was good or not. playthrough so that we played the game first the first two hours of the stream and now we're playing arcade mode which is the whole game just in one go instead of in chapters so there's no breaks in between um it's a freaking sick game love it so much that said because we're going all uh all in one go i honestly couldn't tell you if i'm doing a good job or not <laughs> And I have this sinking feeling that I'm going to get to the end of the game. And Queen Latifah is the main narrator for it. And I'm going to hear Queen Latifah tell me no rank. Instead of like silver or gold rank. So she'll be like, nope, no rank. You messed up too much. Where am I at? Oh, damn it. It's about a girl who's going through a breakup. And she's, well, she went through the breakup and now she's like trying to figure herself out. Breakups are hard. And like once they're over, they're not over. You still have to heal. It's annoying. Cause even if you like, you get into a happy relationship after a breakup, right? You're still dealing with the residue of the old breakup. Like relationships are hard, dude.
the one chapter we get a car. <laughs> I prefer the motorcycle. This car, it's cool because it drifts and shit, but like... I prefer the motorcycle levels. <laughs> for drifting? We get points for drifting? Well shit, I'm just gonna drift the whole level then. Hell yeah! I didn't know we got points for drifting. I wish when I was going through a breakup, I got a cool ass car and empty highway just right? It would help. <laughs> Sometimes I, when I would go through a breakup or like a job thing or whatever, I would just sit in my car and blast music until it hurt and I felt nauseous and then I felt better. <laughs> the worst thing about breakups is that it immediately comes to mind how different they are from parties. Yeah, like it's never even. The car is great, but also it's great. <laughs> Breakups are never even. And that sucks. This was the level that I really didn't like last time, isn't it? This level frustrated me the last time we played. Last time we played as if it was like a million years ago, not just two hours ago. I don't like this level. I'm not even getting the hearts. Screw it. I'm not gonna bother with your hearts. I don't like that level. I never had a breakup because I never dated. Honestly, you don't know how smart and deep that is, Dream. <laughs> First person drone pilot. <laughs> That's true. Pop song, break even. The lyrics are very fitting for this conversation. Level after this one's probably my favorite. This is my favorite level. This why right here. I loved it so much that I was sad anytime I messed up because I don't want the music to stop. Like that. Come on, Alana. Focus. Take a breath out.
I should definitely get around to tossing that coin. <laughs> Started watching it with Taco, and then he went and finished it off. Without you? Really? Oh, no. Should probably make him watch again and pull out one of his hair every time he spoils the comment. <laughs> Don't let us scare you off dating, dream note. It's still, it is, it is so worth it. Like it's, it's so worth it to have a best friend that is so close to you that like, you become partners. Like it's such a cool, special, wonderful thing. I love it. Like John's my best friend. I like, it's so cool to just have like a perpetual sleepover with your best friend. And to just be able to live a life and plan things together and it's, it's really cool. <laughs> The best thing you can do is tell them. Tell them you want to respect their boundaries, but you'll never know until you do. I agree with any sort of respecting boundaries and telling people the truth. Uh, when you have a good partner, it's worth it. When you feel respected and you feel like you're building something together and you take care of each other. Like, people love in all sorts of different ways, right? So when a person loves you the way you want to be loved, and makes you feel special in the way that you like feeling special then it's worth it the trick is finding the person who does that where you both speak the same language or at least he can speak or she can speak the same language as you um and recognizing when you don't have that and not pouring a lot of time and energy into it when it's just not working out for either of you a really really hard part because even in a bad relationship there's a lot of good parts <laughs> and it's difficult to give those up ah <laughs> come on no thank you I got this I'm doing okay. I wish I knew. Cliche possibly, but getting shot down is not as bad as waiting in time, figuring out, finding out too late. It could have been. I agree 100%. 100%. Like, rejection, it hurts for a bit, but at least you know. Pining and sitting in silence, although sometimes that's the fun. Sometimes people don't want the relationship. They like the pining. And they like the torture. And if that's what you want, then yeah, go for it. But...
You got shot down twice and it ended badly for you? Oh, yeah. Then again, there can either be Celebration Pizza or Constellation Pizza. There is no such thing as I didn't tell them yet pizza. That's true. Honestly, Zero, I know you're being funny, but like that's probably some of the best advice. <laughs> like, completely. You need to try. And if they reject you, then fine. At least you felt something and you tried. Like, rejection's a part of life, you know? If you're getting rejected, it means you're living, and that's good. A lot of people don't. They kind of just play it safe, and then... I don't know. When you're old and you have no stories to tell? I think that's more sad than any sort of rejection anyone can give you, isn't it? I have so many stories to tell when I get old. When I'm too tired to do anything but sit in a rocker and drink some iced tea. I'll have so many stories. Honestly, there's never been a person who's rejected me where it didn't turn out that that was for the best. Like, I've never been rejected and then later on reflected upon it and been like, oh, my life would have been so much better with that person. It's never like that. It always turns out for the best. Like, there's been plenty of times where I've been rejected and then years later I look at where they're at or where I'm at, or what that could have been, and it's like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> the bullet I dodged. <laughs> I had someone come to me and tell me that they liked me. Sorry, electric, I'll read it in a second. <laughs> I have to ride this girl's puke and avoid electricity. Forgive me a minute. <laughs> girls going through this video game just to get over a breakup I mean it's a lot dude but it's worth it If you really don't know what to say, pretend they're a bugbear. Yeah, just say, hey, I'm immune to javelins. I don't know if you know. <laughs> I had someone come to me and tell me they liked me and asked me what my relationship status was and what boundaries they needed to follow. Oh, deck of cards. Come on. Damn. 
Left. Right. Center. 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 Left. Right. Center. Left. Oh, this one. I got this. It's basically my commute home <laughs> on the Mopac. <laughs> Avoiding the dust from all the backs of the Ford F-150s on my bike. <laughs> hear the music. It makes it so much more difficult, but I can't stop. That way, I respect the ever living heck out of them. I respected them more for that conversation after I got over the fear of them leaving me. Aww. Honestly, I agree with Zero. That's the ideal approach respect and boundaries and accepting what that person is willing and not willing to do. I mean, yeah, why would you be in a relationship with a person that intimate and that close and best friends and all of that when they don't like respect what bothers you and what, has to, what you have to say? Um, there's a lot of interpretations about the meaning of this game, and yeah, that's the one I agree with most. In the end, loving what makes you you instead of fighting it lets you find your groove, and finding and someone will eventually fit that groove too. Yeah! The music is loud! Okay, there we go. This is killing my score! No, dude, I want to do it. I'm just sad that it's killing my score after I worked so hard in the previous levels, but that's fine. Why? Oh yeah, I can go up, I forgot. This game is 3D! higher score a little while ago and I got a lot of points taken away from me but I might be making that up half a million sounds low compared to what I had
Ah, oh, shoot. Why would I fly into the javelin? Why would I do that? You're right, because I'm immune and I'm not used to dodging them. Then the voices of the A silly video game. Not the immune to javelins. And through the wind, their words soar. Oh, right. Oh. Not long ago, in a town much like yours, <sighs> there was a young woman who fell out of love, asleep, away. For years she fell through spirals of sadness and anger until she could not fall any deeper and fell right back into her grave. Years. Did you hear that? For years she was heartbroken. It happens. I mean, look how long her hair is. That takes a while to grow. That's like two years worth of growth. At least. It takes years. So we played this game twice in three hours. <laughs> No zero. No. <laughs> oh man. Everyone stretch up towards the ceiling. Stretch your side. Roll your shoulders. You did good. Nicely done. To experience recovering from a breakup twice in three hours. Nicely done. Nicely done, Toads. Nicely done. Roll your wrists. <sighs> Nicely done, Toads. Nicely done.